Welcome to this video teaching you how you can make the most out of your graphic calculator. To turn on the graphic calculator, just press on over here. If you want to turn it off, press control and then on. To make it to the calculator, just press enter when you're over calculator. If you want to do graphing instead, go to graph. If there's a mess in the calculator and you want to clean this up, press menu followed by actions and then go to clear history and press enter. This will clear up your history so you can think more clearly. The graphic calculator supports basic operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. To create a fraction, simply press control followed by divide. This will create a fraction template and then you can add your numerator and denominator. To do trigonometric ratios, press the trig option over here. It opens all the trigonometric ratios you, can, you want to use and then just scroll over to which one you want and press enter. Alternatively, you can just type them using the keypad over here. Just type it like, for example, sign. Uh, make sure to use brackets and then put the number in, in here. Remember that it's in radians. One thing about the GC is that it only gives you exact values. So if, so for example, the ln of something is not, uh, for example, e to the 5, it'll just give it to you as e to the 5. It doesn't want to, you know, lose accuracy by giving you the exact decimal points. But if you do want to get the decimal places, what you do is you press controls equal. So there's an approximate symbol here. So it gives you an approximate value, which is not exact because it's only to three decimal places. But this is probably what you need to write in your math paper. To use square roots, press control followed by the x square button over here. If you want to do the nth root instead, uh, control plus this button. Exponentiation, use this button over here. For example, 5 to the power of uh, 2 is 25. There are options for ln, log, uh, e to the x, 10 to the x down here and brackets of different types which you don't really need. Now moving on to the more advanced operations, they're down here in the menu, when you press menu. Most of the things that you're going to be using are under these four categories. So starting off with number, you can do things like uh, convert to decimal which is essentially the approximate. Uh, you can approximate the value to a fraction, you can factorize something into its primes, least common multiple, uh, all of this. Uh, but the most important that you'll be using is complex number tools. Uh, you can do things like conjugate, which is completely useless. Why would you need a calculator to tell you the conjugate of something? The real part, the ima imaginary part, even more useless. The polar angle. Um, polar angle is uh, essentially like the angle that you create when you convert to polar form. So when you have cosine theta plus i sine theta, you find that value of theta. So like if you have 1 plus i, for example, uh, the angle comes out as pi over 4. And it's going to be in radians. Now when dealing with the GC, never press this button to do I because it doesn't work. To, when you want to use I, what you have to do is press this and then go to I and then use it. Over here you also have the men in this in under this pi menu you also have the option of pi of course and then infinity, e and theta. However, you can make this I work as I, but to do that what you have to do is type define and then space i and then equals and then i the other the actual i so when you do this it sets the value of this i to i so what happens now is you can use this as the normal i so it works I. under the complex number tools you also have convert to polar which can gives you the polar form right away and then the magnitude option rectangular is just like your cartesian coordinate Next on Next under the calculus tab we have many useful operations for example the derivative so it actually can differentiate something and you can also choose what variable you want to differentiate with, with respect to so like d dx um, x squared and it gives it to you exactly 2x uh, under the calculus you also have derivative at a point so let's say you want to find an exact value so the variable is x the value at 2 so ddx of something when x is 2 so let's say again let, okay maybe now we'll do um, x to the power of 5 so it gives it to us the, ta the tangent line at that point has gradient 80 under calculus there's also integral so it integrates it for you even though there's these options over here to put your bounds for the integral you don't actually have to do it so if you do put them then it will give you a definite integral if you don't put them it'll give you an indefinite integral there's also this option of sum and product so sum is basically when you want to add up a series for example or or a sequence so you start with whatever variable you're dealing with for example r and then you set it to some initial value of let's say uh, one and then you want to add it up all the way to 100 and you want to add up r so like the sum of numbers from 1 to 100 then it gives it to you as 5050 another option is the uh, implicit differentiation of option so it's all the way down here so let's say the equation is y square equals to x square plus x plus 1 and 
uh, to make this work, what you need to do is actually uh, give it the variable. So it needs to know what is x and what is y. So just comma x comma y. So x is what you're dif differentiating with respect to and y is the variable that depends on x. And when I press enter, it gives me the, it gives me d dx. So, I mean, sorry, it gives me dy dx of this function in terms of x and y, of course. And finally, there's probability, something that you'll only use when you're stuck in the test. So what you're going to do when, when you're stuck in the test is basically go to probability, press 4 and then 1 and then just press enter. And then it gives you an answer and just write this in your test and maybe you'll get a mark. There are some other useful operations. For example, let's say you did a calculation, but you actually did some mistake. So like one plus one, actually you wanted to do one minus one. So you can just use the up arrow key and scroll to your calculation, press enter, and then it retypes it for you. So you don't have to go through the pain of typing it again. And then you just make whatever changes you want and then you can get the answer. And also if you want the answer to be on the next line, you can just scroll up and press enter, it copies the answer. So this can be useful when your answer is a long string of decimal places or, or something uh, very complicated. Next there's graph. So in graph you can basically just plot any graph you need to plot. So over here it says f, f of x is equal to something and then you can just set whatever you want it to be and then it just plots the graph for you. To plot the next graph, press tab. So it opens this and then type your graph. To delete all the graphs just repeatedly press delete and then this shows up and then just press yes. Let's say I plot this graph and I want to find its points of intersection with the x-axis, the y-axis and the turning points. There's a very simple way of doing that. I have to press menu and then go to trace and then go to uh, graph trace. So it follows this point over here. So for example, 0, 0 is a point and then I can just go next and it keeps tracing until it reaches a minimum point. Then it says minimum. So now I know that this is the minimum point and then I can keep tracing. And then this is one of the points on the x-axis so it tells me that as well. To reset your GC for the exam tomorrow, all you have to do is go to my documents, press menu and then scroll all the way down to delete all or you can just scroll up. Scroll all the way down to delete all and then press enter and then it shows you this thing. Just go to OK and then the invigilator will come and press enter. And then it shows this message. If you've learned anything from this tutorial, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.